Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynette and it's a tourism channel where we talk about tourism, travel, everything fun. But for the past few weeks, we have been locked in our houses due to the coronavirus. I have not been traveling, so I've been sharing different content. I shared some poetry. I hope you guys loved it. And right now I'm just going to share something small that happened to me yesterday with my sister when they were extending our lockdown. So we had 14 days first, then we had 21 days, now we have 14 more days, which in total is two months, literally. So something very exciting. It's not exciting, it's like eye-opening and funny at the same time. So when this lockdown happened, we were living our lives, you know, doing different things, working, living life, interacting with different people. When the lockdown happened, all that came to a standstill and now we're at home in our different houses you know with our families and everything so i don't know obviously different people are facing it differently in the lockdown some people are very excited for the lockdown to end and wanted it to end and even personally i was even buying face masks and you know getting ready to go back to work but i was a bit scared honestly you know i'm a i'm a hustler but in the tourism industry i travel Currently, I'm not signed up with any particular company in terms of a contract. So I do work for different companies, you know, part-time consulting, in tourism, product development, online marketing, branding, you know, all those beautiful things to do with tourism. That is my passion. I love it. So that's what I'm doing currently. Before the lockdown happened, I had some opportunities that were presenting themselves there were opportunities that i had turned down on and the opportunities that i was seeing through so now that the look when, when the, they said the lockdown had to end yesterday i was wondering what the opportunities that i had coming up in my head i'm wondering are they still available the opportunities that i was seeing through how long am I going to see them through if we're, since we've been home for two months? You know, literally they would have ended by now. You know, if it was a gig, it would have ended by now. It had to have ended, you know? Would they tell me to go back and keep working with them? Would the opportunities that I was seeing in the future, are they still available? You know, I don't know because I've not contacted the people that see what's happening and I'm in the tourism industry and many people in the tourism industry I'm sure are having this same question because I mean you're working for this to a company and I've not had clients for the last three four months you know do you still have a job honestly because the airlines are still going to remain closed for a bit the borders you know let's let alone talk about people traveling it's going to take a minute or two and that's passing through Twitter and uh, and anyway, the CEO of tourism was saying if we can't travel at least let's talk about tourism in the meantime you know since we can't travel and I was thinking about it and I was like oh my god you know what is going to happen after the lockdown personally I'm a bit scared and anxious because the gigs I was working on their time has elapsed and I don't know honestly if they will still be available when the lockdown is relieved revamped you know the gigs the gigs that i had oh god i don't know my eyes itching okay i don't know what's happening yeah okay okay hold on out 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 okay better so the gigs that i had that were going to happen like in a month's time which had to be april april has ended i don't know if they will still be on the table by the time the lockdown is revamped you know the opportunities that I ha that had been presented to me that I was putting on hold, I don't know if they will still be available when the lockdown is revamped because everything has changed. You know, being in trouble, it's even worse for us since with the lockdown and the cutting down of everything, most of the business that we're doing has been cut off. You know, you can't tell someone to start traveling around when they are hardly getting a meal, you know, hardly getting survival income. You know, so I think about all those things and then I think about my fellow people in the tourism industry, people who have lodges. I ha I know personal friends who have been, who have just finished their lodges and they've invested billions in these lodges. Luxurious, beautiful lodges and they're expecting clients, you know, and they are just recruited staff, you know, giving them contracts and everything. Are those jobs still available for these staff? 
if they are, for how long is this person going to be able to pay this time? When are they going to be able to get the client that they expected to get by April? And I'm thinking about all these things and I'm actually scared. So yesterday when I thought of the lockdown being removed, I was actually scared because I didn't know how to face this situation. You know? And I'm sure, I'm, I don't know if there are people out there who are feeling it the way I'm feeling it, but I'm literally scared because a bit, you know, anxious. You know, the, the situation of uncertainty brings panic and anxiety and fear and tension and okay not depression i think that's too far but yeah brings all those different things i'm like wow i don't know what you're thinking i don't know what how you're feeling about it but that's what i'm feeling and that's where my head is at right now i'm like what are we going to do after the doctor you know what, what's going to become of us what's going to become of the different jobs that we had, you know, <laughs> you keep seeing me that when you when the lockdown ends and you go back to the office and they shifted without telling you, well, this thing might actually happen. It might actually be real, you know. It might happen to you or me or the other one, you know. Some of the me which was going around where they were saying that you know you have to call your HR and actually ask if you still have the job, and we don't know. Do you still have the job? Is that opportunity still there? Is the promised gig still going to happen? You know, people in the events department, every Vulu. I don't know. This is just where my head is at. And I don't know how different tourism players are handling it. Obviously, every Friday, we have the Tourism Connect, where the Uganda Tourism Board brings different stakeholders and they discuss about tourism. You know, it's keeping us afloat, keeping us sane. But still... You know, uncertainty is not the best place to be at. But for these hard times, honestly, where else can we be? But here. Yeah, so otherwise, I hope you guys are keeping safe. 14 more days to go. Started uh, yesterday, today, tomorrow. 14 more days to go. So otherwise, I hope you plan effectively. But how can we even plan when you don't know what you're planning for? It's crazy. But just keep saying, keep updated, keep keep around you know they usually say the best opportunity the best time for an opportunity to come is when someone is ready for it is that what they say there's something they say that the best time the opportunity comes to those who are ready eh, something like that yes but just keep saying just keep available just keep alive positive and you know reminiscing about the industry and how much we love it and how much we want it to be pushed forward you know they talked about the last i think tourism connector was on they were talking about domestic tourism and i'm very passionate about that as well so let's see what happens otherwise there are very many online events happening you know courses training skilling updating conferences what everything yeah so if we keep on track with that i believe it will keep us sane give us a better view of the future like give us an, a, pros a perspective give us an, a lens an angle to look into as we are planning for what we're going to do after yeah because i'm sure i know very many of my own friends who, see, who are hustling or who had jobs and are sure or are percent highly thinking they're not going to have work after this you know and even the employers themselves you really can't tell someone employ me when there is no business honestly you know so and as interacting with some friends actually in tanzania the kilifair team i was talking to dominic the ceo of kilifair partner ceo and you know we were discussing and i was also talking to some people from kenya and you know it's it's interesting because i was dealing with tourism on a regional level you know and you know as we keep sharing with our friends even in rwanda you know you you know you keep saying you keep interacting you keep seeing how things are going that way when things get better you hit the ground running and things will be better inshallah you know when in, in ramadan so yeah, otherwise, I hope you guys are great. I hope you're keeping safe. And bye for now. Let me get off <laughs> and go and check on what's cooking. Bye.